Let's take a look at the most important parts of a pistol. The slide is located in the upper part of the weapon. The hammer spur is often called simply hammer. The slide houses the firing pin on which the hammer spur hits when the trigger is pressed. A crucial part of the gun is the barrel. Pulling the trigger will fire the gun through the movement of the sear. For this the hammer struck plays an important role. If the pistol is uncocked or unloaded, the slide must first be moved back by hand to cock the pistol. When the slide has moved backwards by hand, the hammer is cocked. The sear engages the hammer. Let's wind back and look again at the sear, and how it engages the hammer. When the slide is pushed backwards, it pushes the barrel backwards too. This will allow the cartridge to slide easily into the barrel. The recoil spring is under tension. The hammer is under tension through the hammer strut. As soon as the slide is released, the tension recoil spring pushes the slide forward. The slide takes the cartridge with it, and pushes it into the gun barrel. The hammer remains cocked, thanks to the sear. The grip safety prevents the gun from firing. Only when the gun's grip is grasped by the hand, the trigger can move the disconnector and thus the sear. Let's see it again from the side view with the firing pin. When the firing pin hits the primer, it ignites the propellant. The projectile starts to spin because of the lands and grooves cut into the barrel, to provide a stable trajectory. Once again from a different camera perspective. After the propellant has been ignited, the projectile moves forward and the slide is pushed back by the pressure. Consequently the case is ejected and a new cartridge is fed into the barrel, the hammer is automatically cocked. As soon as the trigger is released, the gun can be fired again. A revolver is a repeating firearm that uses a cylinder, that contains multiple chambers and at least one barrel for firing. The revolver for this example is double action, meaning that, the hammer is cocked back when pulling the trigger, and once the trigger is pulled all the way back, the hammer is released to hit the firing pin. Let's look at the firing sequence, the trigger lever pushes the hammer backward. As it moves backward, the hammer compresses a metal spring in the handle. The spring showed is a coil spring. Uncoiled tension springs are also used. At the same time a pole attached to the trigger pushes on a ratchet to rotate the cylinder this positions. The next breech chamber in front of the gun barrel, another pole lodges in a small depression on the cylinder. This stops the cylinder in a particular position. So it is perfectly lined up with the barrel, when the trigger lever is pushed all the way back, it releases the hammer, the compressed spring drives the hammer forward, the firing pin on the hammer extends through the body of the gun and hits the primer, the primer explodes igniting the propellant, and the propellant burns releasing a large volume of gas.
and the gas pressure drives the bullet down the barrel. The gas pressure also causes the cartridge case to expand temporarily sealing the breech all the expanding gas pushes forward rather than backward.